Franklin from Christian Music Review live at the Walt Disney World Resort in Orlando, Florida. And we're here with uh, two of the three members from Group One Crew, Manuel and Monica. How are you guys doing? Good. We are good. Thanks so much for joining us. Now, you guys are about to release your third album. It's called Out of Space Love okay. on September 21st. Why don't you tell us a little bit about the album concept and, uh, you know, the story about the title and uh, maybe the, the message that you want to take from them once they, once they hit the streets. Out of Space Love is, is what it's about is that God's love is, is we felt, is, is so bigger, so much bigger than the world that we gave you an image of it. It'd be that God's love is permeating through the atmosphere and literally is what keeps the world. Um, in orbit and holding it on its axis he's just like holding the world and everything that's in it and uh, we felt like God through this music was taking us outside of our typical parameters um, in which we wanted to share this music we wanted to be bigger than just Christian music we wanted to be just great across the board you know what I'm saying so uh, it's really signifying that God is bigger than what we think he would be he doesn't fit in the areas that we would like for him to just fit in. As well as our music. Exactly. Same it's, thing with our music. Exactly that. Just stepping out the box with our music, with um, this message, and really just trying to find ways that uh, we probably haven't used in the past, you know? So it's definitely a different direction, but a much greater direction. Well, I haven't got a chance to listen to the record. We just, like I said, we just got it yesterday, but, you know, I'm really lo I'm looking forward to because I was listening to, you know, the second record. I have to be honest, I, I was not, I didn't grow up a fan of hip hop, R&B music, but after listening, you know, recently I listened to Israel Hogan's new scene, um, Love God, Love People, which I love. And I listened, I listened to your second record, and I have to say I love your vocals on on the record. It's, it's, it's amazing, but you guys, you guys hook people with with the music, but it's, it's got an awesome message to it. That's what I really like about this one. That you guys, you guys don't compromise your message. I think that's uh, what I find uh, most appealing about your music. And uh, we're in Orlando today. You guys are actually from Orlando, aren't you? Uh, now, um, when you guys hit the music scene, uh, it was 2007 when you guys released your. 2006? Six, seven. Yeah, around there. What were, what were the hopes, uh, dreams, or goals of the group? I mean, did you guys think that you'd be where you are today? First started. I think it was all just so very new to me uh, personally. I was very, I was younger, so um, I really didn't know what to expect. I didn't know what God was gonna do through our music. I was just so excited to see that we were getting signed. That you don't really know what that entails, like what comes with that. And then the journey has just been awesome, you know, to see just what God has done within these last three years. It's like, I don't think I could have ever pictured being where we are today. And it's not because this is it for us. You know, there's so much more that, that God is going to do and that we want to happen. But it's just to, to see what we've been able to do and to call this a career has been a blessing. It's, it's amazing, you know. So I would have never thought that this could have been a possibility looking back, you know, six years ago or whatever, you know, four years ago. So it's been great. Well, you know, the funny thing is, is that normally one, once an artist gets gets to us uh, with the reviews and stuff, they're a national artist. But the funny thing was, is, is Chris over here, aka Crescendo, he actually told me about you guys. I knew about you guys before you guys were even signed by work because he was playing song. He was playing some said, man, check out this, check out this. I work with Nam on the disc. And he was showing me the back of you guys had done. And then, like, three or four months later, Group One Crew comes out. He's like, that's the same band that, that you were listening to. I'm like, really? So those are the same guys? That's awesome. Shindo so. has been one of the, the faithful few from the beginning of the, the start of Group One and into where we are now. So he's gotten to see the process. Like, it's been a crazy process, you know, throughout the years, but it's cool to have people like him that just love us and know who we are as people, you know, and, and are from our hometown but still support what we're doing. Right. Uh, well, um, shout out to <laughs> well, you guys are, we're, we're at the Walt Disney World, World Resort, and uh, some fans might be asking, uh, what's your favorite rides at Magic Kingdom? What are you looking, I mean, I'm sure you're growing up in Orlando. Yeah. Space I'm sure growing up in Orlando, you 
you guys have been there, just like, you know, we grew up in Tampa, so we went to Bush Gardens all the time, so. What's Space Mountain, or is the Rockies really close here, too? Yeah, Aerosmith Woods. The Hollywood Studios, yeah. I love, um... My favorite part of, of Disney or Magic Kingdom, I forgot. Oh, any of the parks. Uh, my favorite is um, Animal Kingdom, the Nemo, the Finding Nemo Museum. We're going to go to that Saturday and take in my kids. First time we've ever been there. I saw it. I got it on video. Oh, it's so cute. I was love supposed it. to. <laughs> we'll just edit that part out. So it is we'll I. <laughs> I loved it so much. Well, guys, we really appreciate you uh, coming by to talk to us, and we're um, we're really looking forward to, to checking you guys out tomorrow night, Friday, yep. at Magic Kingdom. So if you want to see Group One Crew come out to Night of Joy Friday to check them out, and uh, be sure to pick up their new album, Out of Space Love, coming September 21st. Yep.